Well, welcome back to A Dose of Chrissy. So today I'm going to be doing an aloe vera mask. I got my fresh aloe vera leaf. You can pick this up from, um, I believe, any grocery store maybe. I got this from Walmart. So from a Super Walmart, Super Center Walmart. So this is my leaf here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and focus down on our tools and we're gonna start cutting up our aloe. So I also have here my processor. I'm gonna do two different ways with this mask. The first part, I'm going to put some of this, I'm going to process some of it and put some in the jar, um, in the jar for like the first four days. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, do the jar for like the four days, see how that mask works. And then I'll do um, straight, just leaf to the face. I won't cut any of the gel off and put it in, in here. But let's go ahead and get started. So this is the very top of the leaf and this is the root of the leaf we're gonna leave the root of the leaf on there I'm gonna cut about I'm gonna cut about this much off we don't need this piece even though there is um, some stuff in here so just because there is some stuff in here I'm gonna use this and I'll throw this away so I'm gonna use about well, first I'm going to cut this up in pieces and then separate it. And I'll show you what it looks like. And with these pieces here, I'm going to cut you see these um, thorns on the side? I'm gonna cut as close as I can to that edge. See, I cut as close as I could. Do the same thing to this side. Close cuts as I can. I'm gonna do that to all of the sides. Okay, so for this very first piece, I'm going to cut as close as I can to the um, the the leaf wall. I'll show you what it looks like: the leaf and the gel. Now I'm gonna cut the other side off. You guys can see how. I'm trying to cut this as close as I possibly can to the leaf. So this is aloe vera, fresh aloe vera. I'm going to plop that in my processor because again I am going to do two different methods of this mask. this and I'm just going to chop this a couple times so I'm going to grind this a little because I want it to be juicy and not so chunky Oh yeah, that's a really nice consistency. So I'm gonna just take all of this and just drop it in there. You can strain it, but honestly, I'm just gonna use this and I'm just gonna pour it on my hands and just apply it on my face. And then the other part that I'll do 
is, I'll show you with these small pieces, is that, um, so like I said, for the first five days, I'll be doing this. I'll be putting this on my hands and be, for the first four days, I'll do an aloe vera mask um, with just the gel. And then for the last three or four days, I'll use um, the leaf. Just the leaf. Um, now these leaves, I extracted the gel from these and put it in here. Um, so I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna finish these off. I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna um, rub the rest of this on my face before I put that, just so they don't go to waste. But like I said, first four days with this on my face, and then the last four, um, three or four days using just the leaf, and then um, I'll leave the gel inside. I won't cut it off. All right, let's get started. So all of this, I'm just gonna work it. Oh. I'm just gonna work it all over. Get a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna try pouring it like straight to the face. I need to see. Nah, I ain't gonna even try it. So this is what's kind of left and like you can kind of puncture it and make more gel come out. All right, be back in 15 minutes. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we got our aloe that's dripping, dripping. Cause I still wanna use this little piece gonna take my nail and stab it and hopefully you can see like there's a whole bunch more gel coming out of there
I feel like when it dries out, it's not just running out of gel, but it's also telling me. I'm just saying this for me, my own scientific guess that because this aloe vera is drying out that like my face is sucking up all the moisture from it maybe maybe not i guess i give myself like a mini facial massage i just like to make sure that it's like really on my skin really in there because i'm not like taking the gel off of the leaf i'm keeping it on the leaf Ooh, look what it's doing with that edges though. Let me, let me, let me find out. I'm about to take this, this these braids down anyway, but honey, let me find out. Aloe vera can do something. Let me find out aloe vera can do something with these edges. Y'all see that? All right, see you in 20 minutes. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, I took them braids out, okay? It was time for them to go. But I'll see you guys for the next day. Do see you. Okay, guys, we are back. Just like patting your stomach and rubbing your head. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, I can't see the rest of my hair because I had Miss w Miss Wiggy on today. And again, I'm just stabbing. You can also like kind of take your nail and just like run it through and like the gel will start dripping, okay? All right, see you in 20 minutes. Go back to another dose of aloe vera. And of course me here, girl crazy. <laughs> hey guys, I feel like on this journey, of course, I'm still learning. You guys are learning and growing with me. There's things that I'm doing, and then there's always something small I forget. And I'm just, I really do beat myself up on the inside really bad about it. I'm just like, girl, how are you an influencer? How do you have help? And you still just like, aren't getting like some key stuff done, you know? Like remembering key things. I think I really, I just need to write more things down. Me to keep myself aware. I do have a planner, but I think also um, carrying a smaller planner. Or, I mean, maybe not even that, just keeping my planner with me. Ah, but thanks for joining me on this applying the mask. Come back in about 20 minutes. All right, let's wipe this off our face. Hey guys, we're back and I finally made it to the last day. But now we made it to the seventh day. Let's go ahead and get this last aloe vera mask in. And I'll give you my final review after um, we wash everything off of our face. So aloe vera mask definitely works. It definitely helps with dark spots. 
and it definitely helps with acne. So for dark spots, it definitely lightens them up. I've, I don't know if I've said this, but I've started this aloe vera mask weeks before. I've probably been doing this for a month. I've been starting the mask and then I'll miss a couple days and then I don't pick up because I wanted to give you guys a consistent daily review. But I can say from the very beginning of starting this mask, it has faded dark marks. So for dark marks, you would have to be using this aloe vera for a while. Like every day consistently using it on your face to see dark marks to rise up. Um, acne. Um, me, it helps with the redness and I believe it unclogged my pores. Um, I steamed sometimes and sometimes I just like rested the, a warm towel over my face before I did the mask and each time before I put the mask on my face, I always washed my face so it was having a clean face to cling to. Um, <sighs> y'all, I'm shook. My faith is, my faith, my faith, my faith is smooth. Yes, it is. But my face is so smooth. Um, like, um, I used to have a lot of bumps, like, on my chin and right here, and just, like, going over here, like, dark marks from those bumps. Some dark marks that didn't fade from the bumps. Um, aloe vera definitely helped out. But while you're doing this, drink water consistently every day, all day, drink water. Four bottles to eight bottles a day, um, a gallon a day if you can. I have a bump right here. Um, it hasn't like really done anything to it. it hasn't made it gone down or anything like that. Um, it's smooth. That's what I can say. I probably need to stop touching it. So um, I'm assuming it because it hasn't gotten red or anything like that. So I'm assuming my aloe vera has kept the redness away. And if I don't touch it, it'll definitely won't become a dark mark but this is something what, that I have to actively keep using it because this is like an active bump right now but if you see this scar right here it's slowly fading um but it was red and I put on the mask and after 20 minutes that it did go down I would say to use it consistently more than a week more than two weeks um and just see how it does for your skin it definitely will make your skin soft um some people it says said that it helps like making your skin lighter or complexion um i haven't i have noticed my face being a bit brighter um but it doesn't really help with color correction because you see here i still have some marks here thank you guys for joining me on this review it was it's been hard and it's been fun to trying to consistently get this um do my days consistently and get this footage for you guys. I hope you enjoy the before and after pictures. I hope you enjoy our conversation. Um, and I hope that you also try the aloe vera mask as well. If you do try it, let me know. Let me know how you're experiencing it. If you have any questions. Ah, one thing I will say, itching. Itching does happen. Um, when I first put it on my face, it itched in little places. But when I started putting it on my on my chin, it definitely started to itch. Um, I can stand it, or you can, you know, just like pat your face, but just remember to put the gel around. Um, but if it's like too itchy for your skin type, then just go ahead and wipe it off. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you tried it, or if you have, if you've tried it, or if you want to try it, if you have any questions, ask me. I'm here for you. Thanks for joining me on A Dose of Aloe Vera. Bye guys.